<laughs> Welcome back to the first part of the video. I kind of feel like playing the music from Ghosts and Goblins. I guess that's why I'm wearing the knight armor because I thought about it like, well, if we have a princess, we kind of need a champion. Hopefully, if we touch her armor, it won't explode off her body. All right, so <laughs> all right, so goofiness aside, we're going to start by extracting our avatar shape and uh, everything that makes up our avatar. We have Dark Storm already loaded up. And if you are familiar with how to export your avatar and um, scan and all that stuff that we covered in the Secret Arts of Darkstorm back in the day, then you can pretty much skip this video. This is just a kind of refresher course for those who are new to using Darkstorm. So what we're going to do is we're going to export all the things that make up our avatar. Um, I'm going to start by um, first clicking on our avatar. And then we're going to, um, what's it called? Um, grab her stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, export everything from here. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop. So it's going to be like file, new, avatar here. And we're going to name this animation class. Oh, that's from my old animation class. That didn't work out so well. We don't talk about that one. Class 2. Oh, blast. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so this is my um, dress top. I'm going to let that save. And I'm going to go to my desktop real quick. It should be at the bottom. Animation. And we're just going to put this into a new folder and stuff. That way we keep everything organized, all our textures organized. I mean, it, you don't have to, it's just a, a nervous tick of mine. Must be organized, must be in folders. So I'm just going to start and just extract all her clothes and get the textures and stuff. So skirt. Let's close all this. Okay. Of course, I closed the folder I needed, so I'm gonna go back to my desktop. Sorry, we're all over the place, aren't we? All right, so new folder, skirt. Um, damn, did I grab the skirt or did I grab the rough? Look, I had one, so this is. Uh, the core and the folder uh, you can do the same thing for the hair if you want to export that far but I, I don't not really um, so I need my skin so you grab the skin by Dark, right, right click and then dark storm have textures here's my body and junk so um, let's see what it is that's my head I don't know what part that was no nah, because it's under the ball game we don't need that I uh, don't really need my eyes, but it's just there for the hell of it. Um, my head. Oh, my head. Okay, so that's all of that. So I'm just going to close this. And we're going to go over back to my second life. And I'm going to export my shape. So, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so with Darkstorm, when a Darkstorm, with Firestorm, you need to go to Developer, Avatar, grab baked. No, no, no. Avatar and Character Test, Appearance to XML, and my shape. Groovy. All right. Um, is there anything else I need? Oh yeah, I need my uh, rig mesh data. So. 
back over to Darkstorm and I'm going to right click on myself and I'm going to Darkstorm XML export and I'm just going to hit all because why not download textures because why again why not and then hit save and that's it for getting all my rigged mesh data so now we're going to go over to the secondary program which is meshes and before we run meshes we have to close darkstorm because you can't run darkstorm and meshes at the same time so i'm just going to close it and sign out wait for it to load close away all right and we're going to open up meshes so you should get this window I really should do a class based on meshes because it's such a wonderful program and the person who created it is so wonderful so it's the least I can do to show my support for them so meshes comes up and you're going to um, navigate to where your set your cache folder is if you don't know where your cache folder is uh, if this was dark storms you would go into preferences and then uh, I guess network files directories and they'll say you, this is where your cache location is so you just copy that and then you uh, navigate there through the meshes up here that's what this line is for is to ask where your cache is so once you have your cache already set in you're going to navigate to the rig data file that we just rig mesh data file that we exported so back in the animation blast <laughs> And I'm going to grab this one. I think that's what it is. And you'll see all the parts that we have exported. And I'm just going to press this create day files for all models. Check that. And it may give me the link to some existing files. But that's because I already exported some of the stuff already. So I don't really need to do it twice. If you want to uh, still extract something that you have already extracted before and you just want to get the model again, uh, there's a, a bin file inside the day folder where you go into. You just open that bin in a notepad and then erase all the data and then you can um, clear your download cache and then you can download it, the models again without it giving you that linked to stuff. So that's how that works. So I downloaded all uh, my stuff, I've created, it's created the models. We're going to close out meshes and we're going to go to our animation class and you see a whole bunch of folders came up with all the stuff that I was wearing with its proper names. So once we have everything here, we're just going to go and um, get our files. So let me find it. I was still wearing my back logo. <laughs> um, Alright, so I have my skirt. And you're going to see it says files to upload and it's going to be a shortcut in here. You just right click and then you open file location and it's going to send you to your day folder where it saves everything to. This is the folder I was talking about just a few seconds ago. Uh, just scroll down until you see this Z directory bin and open that uh, in notepad. Then delete everything that's in there and then hit save. and um, that will allow you to rip everything again without it sending you to uh, like link to stuff so fun stuff alright so uh, anyway right click on our uh, let's go back real quick so we're gonna go to the folder that says files to upload double click then we're gonna right click on our open to file location and we're just gonna cut then press back on your mouse if you have one of those fancy mics so just keep going back and then you just paste it here so we know where it's at and then you just go to the next folder until you get all of the um, the mesh that you want to extract it so I'm just gonna keep going back I don't need my earrings you had uh, ribbon upper arm light blue dress part so I think this is all the files and stuff that I need Upper arm, arm, chin. Now I don't need any of that. Just my skirt and stuff. So now we have all the parts exported, um, and in their folder. Next step we have to do is assemble everything in Blender. So I'll see you guys once we jump over there 
to Blender. So, yeah. <laughs>